Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a twofold project. Uh, well, one project, two parts. So what I have here is my leaf mold that I made, my little leaf tray mold. And over here I have my into resin bird mold. And we're going to be making a Christmas bird on a leaf. Uh, so what I have in here is many scoops <laughs> of um, cups is roughly four ounces, so I'm going with that, of my mixed mold. And I'm going to be adding quite a bit of water to the beginning because I want it thin er, uh, because I want to make sure that it goes down into all of the delicate areas of our project. Okay, so I'm going to put in about three ounces in here. I'm going to grab my J. Diction Resincrete Pigment, and this is uh, the deep green. One, two, three, and that should give me a pretty decent green color. I'm going to grab another wooden stick. Now that we've got that, And what I'm going to add is red. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and let this do its thing, and I will see you guys back when it's time for demold and next steps and all that good crawdo. So I'll see you then. All right, it's time to demold. So we'll start with our leaf because it's the easier of the two. And since eco resin projects are notoriously fragile when they first are, you know, newborns, I want to be a little bit careful with it. Still want to be very careful with it. Give his little tail a wiggle. Hey, wiggle tail. There we go. So there we have it. Relief. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I really like that. Yes, I like that a lot. 
All right, so now for the fun part, the bird. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Rev, either your color mixing abilities are poop, or that bird ate something that really didn't agree with its stomach. And I'll explain to you why there is a big green spot on the bottom of my bird. Because I had just a wee bit of green uh, mixed mold left. And so to spill up some space and to not waste anything, I just poured it right down the middle of the bird. Alright, so there's his little head. Now his little butt. I gotta be a little bit more careful. Boom, there we go. And there he is. My little red bird does need to have a little bit of a uh, sanding, but that's fine. What I have here, conveniently located next to my sitting spot, is a piece of 1000 grit sandpaper. So what I can do is just gently go over any of the little spots that we want to smooth and if you're wondering why I'm using 1000 grit you're like god that's a huge number okay well if you're not familiar with sandpaper the bigger the number the finer the grit. So if you use something like 60 grit or 80, that's a lot coarser of a grit and it's going to leave more scratch marks. So now the part and you're like, well, why is the bottom so much darker than the rest of it? I'll tell you why. Oxidation. And to put it in terms that most normal people can understand, acne. Okay. Uh, if you have a blemish that is near the surface, of your skin, it will oxidize. That's why they call them blackheads. Because when air hits things, it makes them change color. Sometimes. So when something oxidizes, it becomes darker. So since this part of the mold was sticking out, the air got to it a lot more than it did in the mold, so it became darker than what was actually in the mold. Science. All right, so I am going to let these air out and cure completely for many hours, probably a day or so, 24 hours or so. That's the manufactured recommendation for curing your eco resin of choice. And then we will seal and then we will assemble. So until then, have fun. Don't get any on you. Stay soon. All right, so while these guys are drying, I'm going to go ahead and go around the perimeter here with just a gold paint pen. All right, it is time to do some lacquering. So you can see now that everything is all dried out, 
looks good, very smooth. Our gold paint looks lovely. Here's our bird. So pretty. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the, with the leaf because it's flatter. Uh, so I have my Duraclear Gloss Varnish over here that I am going to decant a bit into this small cup. I think this came off of the top of a NyQuil bottle. But, you know, hey, it's 30 mil. So, um, know that I have one ounce. And then to my varnish, I'm going to add some of my Eye Candy Ghost Green. Clean up my stick. And I just have a standard everyday paintbrush. I think it came from Michael's craft store. So anyway, let's get painting. Alright, so you can see, now that it's had a chance to dry, it's got a lovely sheen to it. Here's the lean. And yes, we did the bottom as well. So we need a shiny bottom. So what I have over here, as you can see, is some of my super glue fix-all adhesive that I got from the Dollar Shrub. And what we're going to do is we are going to put our bird on our tray and make a little jewelry or trinket dish that you can use. Let's see, the point is, is if you want to, you can hang your rings on it. You can put things in there. You can put it next to a sink or in your bedroom at the bedside table or just whatever you want to do. It's just a cute little fancy trinket dish. So, taking my adhesive, and I'm going to put a blob on the leaf. And I'm also going to put some on the bottom of the bird just to make sure that we have good adhesion. Make sure I don't have any little stringers, because that would be off-putting. Just making sure that everybody sits happy. Okay. I 
Thank you. Gonna clean up my stick. And then we're gonna let this dry. Or cure. Or whatever. So I will see you back when it's all done. Well, here she is. We had a little bit of glue squeeze out on the bottom, but that's not bad. I can clean it up. Not a problem. Just sitting there perched on her little leaf. All the fabulousness. And like I said, you can use it as a as a ring holder. You can put it by your sink. So if you take your jewelry off when you do the dishes. And here's another. No. Just use it as a catch-all. I just think it looks awesome. I think it turned out really, really well. I'll put my ring back on before I go crazy. But yeah. I just think. Oh, and also. There's our little bird, our little bird jewelry tray. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I hope you love her as much as I do. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.